and good morning. We are en route at a, what is it, is it 20 past? Yeah, 25 past. Yeah, at least we've ever set off. No, it was a mad dash today. Yeah, we're, um, yeah, like Dad said, it's a mad dash. We've got to uh, get to the extension job because the Robbies are going to pick up the steel since it won't fit in our van. So they're going to go pick that up. We're going to help them just get it popped onto the wall so it's ready for Monday. And we the less over stone from the concreting job that we did. We're going to tip that in the fr in the um, in the front bit for backfilling, and then we're going to dash to that uh, concrete job, pick up the mixer, and toss it in the van because uh, we're not going back there until Thursday. 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 Only going Wednesday. <coughs> yeah. So, as you materials are going like on Wednesday, so. We're going to make ourselves busy at this extension job, get it finished on Monday, and then we've got a little job to do, and then that. So, the reason why we're dashing so much is that we're, uh, we're, off, in a, we're off on our own little trip today. We're, uh, we're, we'll, we'll give you more details in a bit, but uh, we'll uh, catch you in a bit. <sighs> and there you go, it's still standing, that's <laughs> always a good sign. So, yeah. That scaffold's already, as you know, bricks are on it and such. So we've brought the extra scaffold from home to get set up over there. That way we can get these steels set up because obviously we need to um, get them on the wall ideally so that when we come back on Monday, which is when we're back from everything, we can just get them set and get the brickwork in. Because it's literally just then steels and five cores of brick on top. So it shouldn't take too long. No, nope, uh, there's only wood. Be... Let's not jinx fate too early, shall we? But yeah, but um, when the Robbies arrive, we're going to get that done. So right now, scaffold, stones, just to go in here, and we're out of here. There you go. There go the rubs. 
we'd have been really stuck without them lads. Oh, definitely. Yeah, these little trolleys are a really lifesaver. Yeah, 10 quid from Aldi, absolutely fantastic. So there you go, um, bit of a pain having all the bricks in the way, but we managed it. Steels are both up. That's the short one. And there's the long one. Very heavy, but we, we managed, managed quite well with four of us actually. Now this, um, it's gonna lift this up a bit, little bit, because we just need to get a return. We've got, when we run this side and we've got to return it round here. Um, so we're just gonna lift this up. So yeah, there's a good view of it. Always nice to see the lintels going on. So um, yeah, there's steels with the plates welded underneath. So you've got the uh, brick where it goes on the outside. And then you've got the steel on the inside. Great job. So we're back Monday after our little adventure down to London. We're going to Camden to a Lara Croft experience tonight. Then we're doing Thought Park tomorrow. Uh, Friday, yeah, tomorrow. And then we're doing Legoland Saturday. Underneath, mate, we're going to lift it up. So we'll leave you there and we'll um, see you Monday. And we're back on the extension job after a eventful weekend in London but back to work so as you saw last time we were here the Robbies helped us get these steels up so they're all set up ready and they just need to get bedded on and then we're going to get the five courses along the front Hi. so a little update it's definitely a Monday morning start we've uh, we forgot the vents didn't we so Dad's just going to go get the vents now and um, and get some buckets because uh, we don't have buckets either. We're, uh, we're not with it this morning, but um, Dad's going to go get them. So while while I'm waiting, I've just got the customer to move the cars a sec because I'm going to uh, get the cuts we need. So I'm just going to get. See now. I'm just going to get them one, two, three, then three cut over there, and then four and five. So they need to be cut accordingly and to the size of the steel so that the blocks can just get laid above as normal and obviously these just need to get cut to level off with that. So five cuts in total, shouldn't take too long. Tell you what, that thing. I, I don't get how we've done done without it for so long. But that's the cuts done. And now it's just waiting for Dad. So catch you when he's back. So on this bank holiday Monday, hey? Um, how long do you want this? We're definitely gonna have to go on it some more. I really don't think that's long enough. Anyway, we've got yeah because we've got five course and we've got to put a tray on. And when you when you put a tray on, you need wheat vents, which guess what? We left them in the garage. Oh, oh well that's as I already told you. So anyway, that's back. So we've got to bed the steels on, lines up, and we can get this brickwork whacked up. Basically it's all straightforward, it's, now we're organised, it's 20 to 10. So we've, we've just wasted an hour, which is a pain in the arse. But uh, yeah, we're ready to get cracked on now. We're going to have to put a tray in, like I say, bed it onto that steel, up onto that steel, bed it onto that, and then block on top because we haven't got much to play with. That's it. Let's get some more up there and let's get cracking.
Right, half eleven. I'll just spin you around and you'll see Alex just putting the final touches on that five courses. Giving it a tidy up. Just gonna get, it's been jointed, it's gonna get a brush. We've just gotta run the block work on the back of the steel on top of that cavity tray that we put in. Uh, we've got double insulation in the web of the steel, so that's all insulated. Um, I'm gonna drop this tower here on the corner because we don't need it now, because we'll get the uh, return on the trestles. And that's it. That side will be done, ready for lunch. So it's gonna be a long day, because we've got to not get rid of the siding yet, and all the block paving. But we have lost probably an hour this morning when we having to go back to get the, the wheat vents. That, uh, people keep commenting saying we don't put wheat vents in. Wheat vents in tie wires, Alex.
again. Back from lunch. Oh, you got, got the car's looking low, isn't it? 47 minutes left. Yeah, that's alright, that's yours. There you go, there's a little inside view of the steel with the block work over. We've just come back from dinner. It's probably getting, it's probably where the latest dinner. So we've just got a bed to send on. And as you notice we dry bonded it and if you look close, you'll see we've marked each one. There you go. So we can get cracking on this now. Roll the tray out, bed the tray on, and then it's gonna be an upstand here. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do at the back here. Probably have to just nail it. But um, it's only got four, five cores above it anyway. Put, put a bit of silicone over it just for safety. It's just belt and braces. And then what we did on the back there was lap it up, half on, half off, so the um, the mortar's bonding onto the steel, half onto the tray. If you put the tray right across, it's just a, a, a um, weak spot for one course of block, which you don't want. So we're all set up, mix is on, just need Alex up here and we can crack on. I'm going to stand up there. And do what? Oh yeah, it's, it's full of bricks now, so I need to take the bricks off.
How's it going? Long and late. We're approaching our usual finish time. Yeah. See we just do a PTK then. <laughs> Look at your watch, there's no watch there. Oh. Anyway, there you go. Job complete ish. The extension part is finished. Yeah, that bit's finished, but the um patching the block pavement up isn't obviously because there's Tesla's in the way. But we're gonna tidy up, get as much stuff as as we can in the van. We've got a pile of mortar there that we're gonna use up, see how far it gets us. And then we've got to come back anyway because we've got loads of stuff to get in the van. So when we come back, we'll just make, uh, bring bring a bit more stone, mix a bit more mortar, and put in what we haven't done today. Hopefully we'll get plenty done today, but we'll see. And also we need to get the bricks off the drive, get the drive cleared and brushed up. So Alex can be doing that while I'm putting these pavers in. But first thing is mixer in the van, trestles and planks in the van, ha scaffold in the van. That's the plan. The poor van. Yeah, so here's a quick look. I'll give you a proper walk around when all the scaffolds out of the way and it's all tidy. Mm -hmm. 